Hello there, Linux aficionados. While Linux may run the world by powering web servers and the infrastructure of the modern web, its adoption by general consumers has been, well, slow to put it kindly. However, some companies have carved out a niche in offering Linux-powered laptops, and one of the most popular options in this space is Tuxedo. And its Pulse 14 Gen 3 is hands down one of the most polished notebooks running the OpenSource OS on the market today. So let's check it out, shall we? The Tuxedo Pulse 14 features a well-made aluminum chassis with some plastic around the keyboard and the display. The overall bit quality offers a lot to like, although we did notice that this thing is a proper fingerprint magnet and keeping those smudges off the case requires some regular maintenance. However, gaps are tight and even, we just wish the hinges would be a little bit stiffer to prevent queen wobble. Overall though, it looks clean and subtle and would blend in very well in a boardroom or the coffee shop. And as a nice touch, Tuxedo allows you to remove the logo on the laptop lid or even put your own if you so desire. Below its matte black outer shell, the sleek notebook comes with AMD's technically last gen but still very competitive Ryzen 7 7840Hs. 32 gigs of RAM, a generous 2TB SSD and a 2.8K IPS refreshing at 120Hz. Port selection is fairly standard and there are a good number of USB-A and USB-C ports, one of which powers the machine. Noticeably absent is USB 4, which is a bit of a shame and so is the pretty slow microSD card reader. And while Linux is known for its open source nature that encourages tinkering, well the Pulse 14 isn't so much. There is a pair of NVMe slots for some easy storage expansion, but the RAM is unfortunately soldered. The keyboard and trackpad are alright. They won't blow your socks off, but they get the job done. The keyboard offers a nice typing experience, even though I would wish for a smidge more tactility. And the trackpad does work without a problem, but feels rather sticky with very stiff clicks. The display on the other hand is quite interesting. While most Linux laptops opt for the industry standard resolution of 1920 by 1080 the Pulse 14 goes the extra mile with a 2.8K screen at 2880 by 1800 pixels. Brightness is so so though, but black levels are very solid, resulting in an above average contrast ratio. Response times are also slower than on other IPS panels, but not by an amount noticeable in everyday use. The 120Hz refresh rate is the clear highlight here, which makes for a very smooth experience, which is great to see in this rather niche segment of the market. The Pulse 14 brings one of AMD's best mobile chips to the Linux laptop world. The AMD Ryzen 7 7840HS features 8 multi-threaded performance cores clocked at 3.8GHz with a single core boost up to 5.1GHz. And before we look at performance, a quick note. To ensure that our tests can be compared to other notebooks, we installed Windows 11 Home alongside the pre-installed Tuxedo OS, which is based on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. In addition, we also compared our Windows scores to those of the native OS and did not notice any noticeable difference. The Ryzen in this one might be 2023 silicon, but it can still easily hold its own in our CPU performance rating and is placed very well even against Intel's latest Meteor Lake mainstream chip, the Core Ultra 7 155H. System performance is excellent as well, both in our PCMark benchmark runs and subjectively. The Tuxedo is overall a very snappy system that should easily cover your bases for most of your everyday computing requirements. The integrated 780M GPU continues to prove its worth in graphical work. In 3DMark, for example, the Pulse 14 keeps pace with the new Intel Arc 8-core iGPU and we do not really have to talk about Intel's older generations. Still, even a lower-tiered dedicated GPU like the NVIDIA RTX 3050, for example, can greatly improve graphics performance. You may tinker with some settings to hit a stable 60fps, but the integrated graphics solution should be more than adequate for most people who just want to jump into a quick gaming session here and there. Remember that Linux historically has good support for AMD hardware, so gaming performance should be similar in Ubuntu depending on which games actually run. And guys, if you are after more details from our performance results, stress tests, general temperature and fan noise testing, please make sure to head on over to our written review. We have a lot more data for this one. Fan noise for the subtle matte black notebook offers no reason to complain and during lighter tasks you mostly deal with an almost always silent notebook and even under load and in respect to the offered performance the tuxedo is very well behaved. The 60 watt battery is solidly middle of the road offering just under 7 hours of battery life in our Wi-Fi battery test. 
While this is not really bad, we have to be honest here, we expected more. But maybe this is something that can be improved with a firmware fix to make the Pulse 14 more efficient in general. Alright folks, it's about time to wrap it up for today. In the world of Linux laptops, there's not a lot of choice. Thankfully, Tuxedo makes that limitation a bit easier to bear with the Pulse 14 Gen 3. The laptop is overall, well, good. It is well built, offers great performance and has a decent selection of ports and good enough battery life for most people. There are some drawbacks though. The lack of USB 4 might become a hindrance in the near future and the sold out 32 gigs of RAM will eventually be a sticking point as well. However, the good far outweighs the bad here and with a 120Hz refresh rate, top tier mobile performance, a good keyboard and specs that are adequate for today make the Pulse 14 Gen 3 an easy choice for those hunting for a Linux laptop. But please folks, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks a ton for watching, please remember to hit that like and sub button on your way out and I cannot wait to see you all in the next one. Take care.